Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Your home security system is pretty good. Or is it? Last night, I was able to gain access to your garage using this long forgotten doggy door. I think the previous homeowners might have had it installed, but you neglected to have it boarded up. Pretty neat, huh? Using this method, I was able to sneak into your master bedroom and watch you sleep peacefully for nearly 30 minutes. Your wife is a pretty sound sleeper, but I noticed you starting to stir, so I ran back to the garage. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. The National Library of Medicine, which is maintained by the National Institute of Health, defines a hypnagogic state as one might experience it. Spontaneously appearing visual, auditory, and kinesthetic images. Qualitatively unusual thought processes and verbal constructions. Tendencies towards extreme suggestibility. Symbolic representations of ongoing mental and physiological processes, and so on. That is to say, if you remember me at the foot of your bed last night, you should probably chalk it up to a temporary hypnagogic state and not investigate what's about to happen in this video. After running through your halls, I then hid away into the attic because no one would think to look there, right? It really is a cozy place once you get used to it. Whew, it is getting pretty late. I better head in for the night. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, good morning, Vsauce here. Today is Labor Day and you have the day off. Normally I would stay away like I do every weekend, but I actually forgot you had the day off today. <laughs> Silly me. I guess I'll just have to make the most of a bad decision. I like to read a big book when I gotta wait for a long period of time like this. This one's the Illustrated Signs and Symbols Sourcebook. It's got all kinds of signs from ancient Egypt and Greece to astrology and tarot. Now, I don't believe in those sort of things, but I am an Aquarius, so I do like to read. Do you hear that? I think someone's in the attic. No, that's a raccoon. That's a man. I'll go look. Don't go up there. Call the police. Don't bother them. I'll check it myself. Kellen! Kellen! Why does this seem so familiar? Hey! Vsauce! Michael here. You're probably wondering when I got this gun. I stole it from you last week. And I slowly whittle down the shackle on its container. You also stored the bullets with the gun. So yeah, it was pretty easy to steal your gun. <sighs> Two and a wife. This is probably why Stanford Medicine says that gun owners are more than twice as likely to die of homicide than those living in gun-free homes. But you probably didn't research that before making this purchase, huh? That's a Nerf gun, Michael. It's what? You've been in the isolation chamber for two days and 12 hours now. I'm still in the chamber? You were dreaming. I dreamt the last six years? You've always been dreaming, Michael. You're in a hypnagogic state. The birth of my daughter. You have no daughter. No. No. <laughs> No. Hi, I'm television personality type Steve Louise, and I played Michael Stevens in that video you just watched. We dealt with a lot of heavy topics in that video, dealing mainly with the mind and a loss of self that can spiral into a tendency to break into people's houses and build platforms to support a blow up air mattress and a full grown man with his foodstuffs. If at any time you find yourself renovating a crammed and stuffy attic into a fourth bedroom to help your house's pitiful resale value, reach out to a family member or a counselor in your community. 
Remember, life is hard, so you shouldn't be expected to have to live it alone. Okay, now that we're all warm and fuzzy, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe?